It's like a roller coaster of emotions. Roller coaster of chairs. Hello, lovely peoples. I am Michelle. This is my wheelchair, Betty. I'm on a fucking roller coaster of evil with some baby, baby. I want to get off. Uh. Da -da -da -da. And you're watching Remember Wheels NYC. And today I'm going to give you an update on the wheelchair quest. If you follow the show, uh, then you know that I've been trying to get a new wheelchair that is actually safe and uh, supports my spine properly for the last two years. And then about a week ago, they finally delivered a new wheelchair. She is behind me. That's Papa LaRue. And apparently, when they did a home evaluation, did no one bother to measure the fucking elevators? Leaving it to me to find out the hard way that when they went fully assembled, she does not fit and I got stuck twice. <sighs> so that was stressful. I was actually really, really depressed. Thankfully, there are two options. Basically, we can stay with the rear wheel drive option and go from a chair that's 50, 50 inches to 44 inches. So the, the other option is to just say to rear wheel drive and go with mid wheel drive, but I don't know how to proceed. What will be safe? I mean, I thought this chair would be safe, and then I got stuck in the elevator. And I and because they suggested this chair and then I got stuck, I don't feel that confident in whatever suggestions they give me. I don't know, I don't know, la 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 la, I don't know, I don't know, la 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 la. Fucking A, I hate this shit. Shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit. <laughs> That's cathartic. You know, I was, I, I've been really kind of struggling with depression about this wheelchair issue situation for a while now. And it's like, you know, I go out with a friend or I have an art project and then I don't think about it. I'm okay, but then the moment where I'm like, I'm not doing something, like the sadness is like, hey, remember me? But I have a game plan that makes me feel not so like, ah, and just like swing in the breeze at the breeze's whim. So I sent an email to the wheelchair clinic and I, I asked, I asked Amanda, you know, are they going to take popular room and just kind of do surgery on her and alter her? Or are they going to give me a totally radically new wheelchair? And if so, in either option, what are the specs? Because how can I make a decision without knowing the specs? The specs, the specs, specs, specs. That's like super important information. I'm kind of leaning towards midwheel only because Betty, my primary chair is it's midwheel. Little Bella, the rental chair is midwheel. So maybe I should just go with familiarness and go with mid-wheel drive. I mean, maybe rear-wheel drive is awesome when it's not 50 inches long. Maybe at 44 inches, that's actually manageable. But it's like, I don't feel safe. And like, even if I just, I just don't, I know I can't chance it anymore. This has weighed on my heart. So my heart's like, make it easier on yourself. Go mid-wheel drive. I think with this game plan, I'll be able to get through it and I won't feel so depressed and I'll stop crying <laughs> and um, I'll have a little more hope for the future. There is more to life than just to make able It's not all there is. And there's good things too. And there's good things too. And there's good things too. All right, I got news that they're going to pick up Poppy LaRue and bring her back to the shop on Monday, but for now, I am just waiting. I am waiting. Uh, it has been a bit tricky because, you know, as if you follow the show, then you know that I am prone to cognitive impairment or I'm not able to process things in real time. Sometimes, sometimes I am. Sometimes there's a little delay. Sometimes there's a moderate delay. Sometimes there's a large delay. And that is just tricky by nature, but becomes even more trickier when you have to kind of advocate for yourself in a system where you would like to relax and just let people take care of things, but you can't because this is what happens. And literally like, like, like the other day, she sent me an email. I had to read it over seven times just so I could understand what was being written. It is during those times that my body needs to rest, but I can't because of the system. 
Uh, what do I do with that? I don't know. Will I actually get a new wheelchair within this lifetime? Will it actually fit under my desk as requested? And will it not hurt my spine? I don't know. I don't want to make these videos anymore. I just want this to be settled. That's why I have twist. Look at this. I'm twisting myself up in different positions because I'm stressed. <laughs> I leave your comments in the comments section because that's where they belong. And ah, oh, like I don't know, I don't know, la 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 la, la. I don't know, I don't know, la 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 la. Fucking a, I hate this shit. Shit, fuck, shit, fuck, shit.